Good afternoon and welcome. It's another edition of The Buzz, the show that keeps you updated on what's trending, especially on all of the social media platforms. It's great to be here on this uh, lovely but wet and cold uh, Thursday afternoon. My name is Patience Belu Kapo. I welcome you to today's program. Uh, with me is my regular partner, Alero. Good afternoon, Alero. Good afternoon, Patience. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thanks for yesterday. Yes, yesterday was, <laughs> it was awesome. It was amazing. <laughs> like seriously? <laughs> yeah, like seriously. <laughs> Happy birthday to you again, Alero. This seems to be like a birthday season. Yesterday was Alero's birthday. Today is my sister's birthday. Mm, yeah, wow. she's my immediate, yes. immediate, immediate. In fact, she's like my twin because even people who have never met her before, when they see her, they're like, are you, are you related to patients? We look alike that much, you know. Happy birthday to you, Aymanehi Ayriaveri. Congratulations uh, on your happy big day. Yeah. Have a swell one. Have yeah. a swell one. Happy birthday, Ayriaveri. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, we have today here was flooded with cake. Oh, really? We have a good time. Wow. Leftovers. No worry. We have a party in your cup, so oh, you can really? just. Yeah, you can just enjoy with us. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for coming on the show. Let's do a quick introduction of our guest on the program today. I'm starting from my immediate right. We have uh, Mrs. Tina Uche here. She is a women's advocate with Women Arise, and we all know, I mean, they are the ones that give women muzzle mm. in Nigeria. She's also a counselor. Thank you, Mrs. Uche, for joining us. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Mm. Also, we have the man. He's always the only man amongst women. <laughs> every, and he gets jealous every single Coincidence. time. Every single time. It's okay. It's every okay. time we try to bring another man to pair with him, the man will disappoint. Okay. There's okay. always something. It's okay. <laughs> I guess it's divine, so the man are it, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. He's a real uh, estate expert and is also a counselor and a life coach, Mr. Mustafa Iwenla. Good afternoon. Good sir. afternoon. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right. So joining us first time on this table, but not first time on Galaxy TV, because I know a lot of people know this face already. Uh, she's actually the founder of uh, The Nest. The Nest is actually an NGO that protects the interest and also tries to bring a lot of awareness uh, you know, in terms of uniting the family, you know, uh, the Nest Foundation. And of course, if you belong to her WhatsApp group, then you know, <laughs> you know what she's about. She's all about women, you know, knowing the worth of what womanhood is and also how to promote the family. Uh, she's an educationist and a counselor. Mrs. Vivian Ogboru, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Thank, Thank you for joining Thank us today. You. And happy birthday again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, 0802-836-8971, that is the number to uh, use for SMS only, but also you can join us on social media. Yes, that's on Facebook, that's www.facebook.com forward slash Galaxy TV, and on Twitter, our official Galaxy TV, you know, that you can get to watch previous editions of the program, mm -hmm. but our YouTube channel, Galaxy TV Nigeria. Okay, let's go straight into the program gentlemen and ladies. Our first topic is, is marriage an achievement? A single Nigerian lady by name Mo at Mochivius, uh, she went on social media and she says she sees no benefit in marriage. According to her, she has been trying to like write a list, you know, reasons why she should get married. And so far, she has not found any reason. But we live in a country where a woman is uh, seen as incomplete if you are not married. So we're asking the, the question this afternoon, is marriage an achievement, especially for women? But before we go into the discussion, we found this footage on YouTube and we feel people should watch this one first. It will set the pace for the discussion. It's a very funny one. So uh, let's see that footage together and then we'll continue. Talking about marriage the other day, the, and the stress that we have to go through as Nigerian kids, second generation, mm -hmm. for marriage. Right. Every single time my mom is just asking me, so when are you getting married? When are you getting married? I can go to a party. When are you getting married? I can go to is is church. It, when are you getting married? Is it not you that told me that my boyfriend should be my book? Mm -hmm. Now I should be married. Now I should be married. All of a sudden, just like that. No, I have other as 
aspirations in life. Mm. Marriage, like, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. But it's not the only thing that I'm concerned about. I'm not focused on marriage. It will come if it comes. Right. I will not rush it. But basically, this is the rant to basically express our frustration because this is ridiculous. Let us know if you agree with what we're saying. We are not, listen, I want to get married, she want to get married one day, God willing, but if it doesn't happen, I will not die. You, you want that? Let me start by saying that marriage is a beautiful thing. I'm in love between one person to another to form one, a union. Oh, God bless the marriage. God bless the unity. However, marriage is not an accomplishment. Did you hear? Mm? Some of you will be pressing around. Oh, I'm married, I'm married, I'm this and that and so. Some of you will be making another woman feel bad because they're not married. As if, as if it's the biggest thing to be. Like, how people will be asking me, when are you getting married? When are you getting married? Where is your job? Mm. Where is your engine? Where is your career um, goal? What are you doing? Where? Now that you become married, mm -hmm. did you become a living legend? Are you the huh? first to do it? Uh -huh. Will you be the last? Tell them now. Did your name end up on a star? Are you now in the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Oh, I, I, see, I see it now, my sister. I see it. Um, Nama where's Mark? <laughs> Biggest clap of congratulations. Clap for yourself, huh? idiots. For the record, though, if you are looking for a wife and you're a guy, <laughs> I can help you out. You know, we can work something out in the DMs. Yes, you know, slide in real smooth. Slide you know? in and we can, you know, we can talk. However, it's not a priority for me. That is the number one thing. You know, it's like, not a priority. It will big, never be a priority. Hmm? It's not. Necess necessity? Hmm? As in, what if I don't want to get married? Is it a crime? Is it a crime? Will I die? Will I die? Me, as a woman, I don't mm -hmm. exist to be married mm -hmm. to kids. Tell them. So for those of you that are single woman shaming, mm -hmm. your father, mm -hmm. your mother too, your children, your grandmother, everybody. But we'll get married in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs>
the reality the on reality ground. Now, yeah. Because yeah. your mother and your father will not tell you, go and look for that man that shares your purpose That's or right. shares your vision. Right. Just go and bring a man of course. home. Yeah. So how has this change in understanding of what marriage should be, how has it really become more of a problem than what should have been a blessing? Sorry, if, I, if I'm coming, if I'm coming now. Go ahead. You see, the topic, topics that has to do with marriage for me is a topical issue. Mm. And even on this floor, I can't be exhausted. Can't be. Marriage, for me, is not, is not an achievement. Mm. Although it could be a, an achievement for somebody who has been having issues with finding the right partner. Probably who has dealt with different heartbreaks. Mm. Yes, it could be an achievement. Or somebody who has faced all kinds of challenges in life, and at the end of the day, he or she is like, will I ever find somebody that can love me and get, I can, somebody that I can get married to? Yes, it could be an achievement for that person. But then, in this part of our society, it is very saddening to see how pressures are mounted on particularly ladies mm. to, go, to go get married. Such, in the words of Chimamanda, such ladies now will grow to be women who will be completely obsessed with marriage. I mean, and, 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 it's, so, and it's so sad. And there's little, pre, little or no pressure mounted on guys to go get married. Mm -hmm. Such guys will grow up to be men who are not obsessed with marriage. Then, that is the foundational cause of men who cheat. And that, of course, in any marriage, it is either you are happy or you are not happy. So, for somebody to say marriage is an achievement, I think it's just based on that individual or, or where he or she is coming from. Mm -hmm. Marriage is not, is not an achievement. Yes, it's a commandment. It is very key. It is very important. Christianity preaches that we get married. Islamic religion preaches marriage. Mm. But then, for somebody to now capitalize on it and say, oh, since I now have gotten married... It shouldn't be a yastic to, be, to measure, be, you know, to measure, someone's... To measure, yes. to measure mm. one's individual success. Mm. It, some, some have decided not to even get married, and they are very comfortable with the state they have. Mm. They are very... Yeah. And some have tried marriage, they've been burnt, and they don't want to try it anymore. Okay. They don't want to go into it anymore. They run for their lives. So, so for that person, are you mm. going to tell me he or she has not achieved mm. in, in other aspects of life? No. Okay. Okay. So, so. Um, you know, you know something uh, just that um, a lot of youth these days, um, they've actually taken the bull by the own and they've accepted the fact that it's not compulsory. The narrative is actually changing now. Yeah. It's not like before that your parents have to mount pressure on you to get married. These days, there's so many single ladies and they're... If you get married, good. If of you don't course. get married, they are, they are fine. Very mm. about it. They are not really... But the main thing that this particular lady is asking is what are the benefits of marriage mm. like she has actually okay. listed it is it but don't you think it's because of the issues that we get to see in a lot of marriages that's scaring a lot of youth yeah people are questioning yeah, actually questioning <laughs> that's okay. mrs oboru's contribution to this <laughs> <laughs> good afternoon mm. ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen mm. um marriage achievement yes. the two don't relate mm. Because if we want to talk about marriage and achievements, then let's start to look at what is an achievement? Mm. What are you trying to achieve? What are the goals? What is the purpose, aims, objectives? That helps you to achieve something. Mm. And you know, like I had, um, if you go to America, for instance, permit me to use that mm. example. If you go to America, for instance, you discover that you can walk into a registry, get married in less than 30 minutes, mm -hmm. you're done. It's so easy. But if you want to get a driver's license, it takes longer mm -hmm. and a lot of practice mm -hmm. to be sure mm -hmm. that other people are safe mm -hmm. on the roads. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we don't understand that marriage is also a rix is a security uh, menace mm. in the lives of the community. Mm. And I expect that marriage should have taken longer for people to study it, mm. not based on what our parents are saying, not based on what pressure is being mounted, but it's based on the fact that this is a lifetime 
contract I want to get into, I want to get involved. So let me see if I understand it and if I want to do it, then we can be talking about achievement. Yeah. But just getting up to say marriage is an achievement, what are you achieving? Because in marriage, you know, sadly, um, though the times have changed and things are happening here and there, they are not supposed to be the standard. We are supposed to create and maintain a standard because it's supposed to be what? It's dealing with lives, mm. born and yet unborn. Mm. It's dealing with people that you're going to bring in to incorporate into this organization called marriage. So it is a deep step that you don't take lightly to call it achievement, even though, <clears throat> like he said, if you have been heartbroken a couple of times, trusted and then jilted, you look at it as an it. achievement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe as someone who is at you know? about something and you get to marry. <laughs> yeah. like, not, and maybe through the testimony. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> it's <laughs> a testimony. <laughs> but it's been achievement. it's been like a kind of a war. You've been fighting. Mm -hmm. You've you've manipulated, you've you've conspired, you've you know, all sorts of the days you have done it to be able to get married, hmm. then you can sit down and say it's an achievement. Yeah, but, you know, but you know, there are times that um, single ladies get to like face little discrimination. Maybe you've got married friends and you're all gisted and at the end of the day, you as a single lady want to advise hmm. and they're like, yeah. what do you know? What do you what know? Do you, you don't know anything. You're not even so that's married. Somebody was saying that that her desperation. A lot of people that, would you want you to get married. Understand. I want to be in the clique there. Aside from the gram that people get to do. People yeah, get but do. you discover that Seriously, he who wears the shoes knows where it pinches. If you stay under the roof, you know which part of the room is leaking. If you had been married, you will know what marriage is about. Because it's not this I love you, I love you thing. No. Of course, it's more than that. Sadly than enough, that's... our young women don't understand marriage. Our old women are too battered and tired to talk about it. Mm. So these ones are wobbling in the dark. They don't even know what is marriage. It is too deep. You don't just run into it. Don't let no pressure push you into marriage. So be that, sure that's another case. that you want to be married. Because you're going, it's a hundred, hundred percent given. You don't do 50. There's no 50-50 in marriage. If you want to do 50-50, then there's going to be problems. Because these are total strangers. Uh, I don't want to narrow it to women. This is a lady that is coming from maybe where her father does everything. And she's getting married to you where your, your mother, mother does, does everything. everything and now you're How coming you to reconcile form. the two <laughs> you're mm. coming to form a mm -hmm. union mm. but let's not forget though mm -hmm. that for some people we talk about setting goals everybody set goals you what must you want. Set. but for set some goals. people for some ladies marriage is a goal let's not forget there are women like that marriage mm -hmm. is a goal because there are women who come from the place of understanding that when you get married, half of your problems in life are solved. Because you get what I mean, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. so you have to look for all your burdens on the man. Even your family, your family, your family. So, family. so it's a goal yeah. for some women. But I think it's a Nigerian thing. It is. Yeah. Because yeah. I know that if you're marrying from Igbo land, mm -hmm. uh -huh. you have some baggages no, that no, are yeah, no, no I, permit me to use that word <laughs> no, please because you will train some part of <laughs> yes, our family that's true. yes that's yes true. So I, know, I, know, I, know, no, no, I can't be here and, and if you are, are married, talking no, about no 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 it's from. not about tribe please okay uh, yeah. hold on so now since it, you are the evil one yes even though i am partly exactly. you know so uh, by marriage <laughs> educate us so uh, you see it just like last time we talked about uh, uh, the plight of widowhood mm. in some areas mm. like where i come from mm -hmm. I'm from Imo State. Okay. Mm -hmm. you're, uh, I'm from Imo State. There are certain things that happen in your, uh, in other states that don't but apply. Still, don't don't apply. Okay. Mm -hmm. But my brother married from, from Imo State. Ironically, mm -hmm. he had to build a house for her father, mm -hmm. and he had to train that three is, that family of family. That is that is one. Okay. That is one, one out okay. of many families. That is okay. one out of so is even the list we talk about. How many tubers of uh, um, rice? Bags of rice and things like is the family. It depends. Mm. Even the dowry we are talking about, some people will not collect. Mm. So let us not generalize it. 
<laughs> no, but it no, used to. Coincidentally, that's coincidentally, I am married into Imo state. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> my husband is Imo. So let me share my own experience. Uh -huh. I remember when um, uh, uh, we're getting ready for my traditional marriage, and you have to bring the list. Yes. And of course, my husband's people got the list. Yes. I recall it was just one sheet of paper, mm -hmm. and my mother-in-law was like, "Only this one is mm -hmm. it finished?" Because in that yes. part, mm -hmm. you understand, mm -hmm. it is an exercise, exercise. book. Yeah. You know, yeah. page one, page yeah. you keep going and yeah. all that. So yeah. when we say the East, mm. we know what we're talking about, mm. really. Yeah. yeah. Maybe no, but family, 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 even, even in, in the North, North, even in the North, mm. now you know that it has been a kind of borrowed culture. A girl is mar getting married. She comes in with boxes, comes in with furniture, mm. comes in with the, the whole kitchen, Everything, whatever. Up to umbrella. It's, it's, a, it's a kind of a show off. Mm. You know, who is the the wealthiest in the mm. family and they come in with an attitude what betide you if the man has nothing do you understand it mm. so mm. it's not it's, it's becoming like a nigerian Gender thing, thing. Mm. it's rolling round okay let's see how our viewers are responding to this uh, topic this afternoon uh Ademumi Ademola from Oshogbo in Oshun State says marriage is great achievement because some people get favor. That is marriage. They are going there. Let me let me finish this. They say um, because pe people get favor through whom they marry. Like me, I married a good woman. Okay. All right, this one. That's very good. The legend. All right, this other one says. Um, yes. My name is Peter Chigozie Owalaka. Please, I want to state that marriage is an achievement, especially when both couple have lived uh, right in other uh, shoes, a standard for others to follow. Marrying in Umbise is the thing that can happen in this life. Peter, we're not, <laughs> we're not understanding. I, I, I don't I'm not understand understanding that. your... Umbise is from Imo State, uh -huh. so I think it's chipping in because you mentioned... All right, this Imo one says, State. to me, marriage is an achievement. How could I have achieved That's my goal as a single uh, person if my mom didn't get married? It's an achievement to our creator and should also be same to us. A good marriage, though. All right. Uh, if a base in Kaduna, uh, to me, marriage without money is a failure. We're not talking about marriage and money today. All right. Uh, Musa from Kano says, uh, good afternoon. Marriage is the greatest achievement in the world. The example of the nun or reverend sister you gave are women who preserved their chastity and controlled their sexual desire. All right, Isaac from Ghana uh, says, uh, thanks to you people for this program. I am touched. All right, uh, this other one. Um, hello, everyone. Auntie Alero, so sorry. I did not wish you happy birthday yesterday. <laughs> happy mm -hmm. birthday. He said, uh, for the topic on ground, I totally support those ladies. Marriage is a good thing, but the way Nigerians see the topic, it's like if you don't get married at a certain oh, age, gosh. then you are totally nobody in the society, which is crazy. <laughs> All right, people with diverse opinions. Mm. Uh, of course, I think I, 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 I some, of, yes. some, of yes. the, some, of, some of some of the writers are... All popular. right, I need to read this one. I know from Lagos State. I need to read this one. I know says... I believe marriage is an achievement. Any woman who is not married has not achieved it's, anything. It's, that is very right. People, people actually that have is different A man, right? right? A woman, no, that, I, well, I know, that, that I know it's a yeah. unisex name. Mm. It's a lady, yeah. See, so, sorry, yeah. sorry, quickly. That's the mentality. Mm. People, people, uh, writers of those messages are writing that based that on their personal experience. Yeah. For somebody who hasn't married, has been born, mm. and probably the marriage almost cost him or her life, mm. will not say marriage is an achievement. Mm. Yes, marriage. I've said, I will stand on what I've said, it's not an achievement. But I think the real achievement is staying married and staying happy. Having a good marriage. Having a good marriage. That's, that's, the, that's achievement. the real achievement. What did you drink? Not because, not because you have gathered problem. people from different yeah, tribes yeah, of exactly. families together to you know, uh, organize a wedding and you guys have gotten married within a very short time. Yes, that, mm. that's a wedding. But the real marriage is how you, how you guys continue to sustain that marriage to last for a long time and continue to manage 
all the challenges and e curves mm. that come. That's that the real achievement. Yes, yeah. that's true. That's real Unfortunately, there's no marriage that is perfect. There's, there's no, no marriage. You, need to, you work at it. I, I exactly. it. Yeah. You work at it exactly. to make it work. But before marriage, some of why we encounter some of the things we do is because before marriage, during the courting season or dating season, mm -hmm. yes, we are not honest with, with each, each other. other. A lot of and we don't up. talk about the things we, the we things should that matter. talk about. Some people yes. don't look at the main mm. issue in marriage. Yes. They look at about how some money, talk about money, communication, about, about, about. the ingredients, time, yes. children, relations, yes. and in-laws, and all those stuff. And some ladies don't even discuss about their what is going to happen. Okay, a lady has two. Sorry, uh, Alero. Go ahead. A lady has uh, two degrees. Mm. In the name of her father. Mm -hmm. When she was, but when she got married, the husband said, "You are not going to work. Mm. You are not going to work. You want to be a, a housewife with your degrees." Okay, I'm going to give you fifty thousand every month. Okay, no problem. You want to submit because the mother has two 